what you are seeing is live. This is what is happening to our magnetosphere right now. We are encountering a solar storm that, quite frankly, has caught everyone, I think, off guard. Don't think we were expecting it to be this strong. And I'm going to show you um, just how intense uh, this storm is. And hey, Shannon, heads up to you. Thanks for the heads up better as well. Um, look at this, folks. Um, Magnetic North is taking a hit. It is being severely pulled to the south. Um, these readings are just, uh, it's what to be expected, but the that's one of those yes and no. Is it to be expected? Yes. Is it expected to have been this intense? No. And you can see very, very clearly um, that as far as uh, the magnetic north is concerned, we're a dancing. And I have seen this um, just absolutely well. Let's just watch. We don't stop and really think sometimes. Look at it. It went so far. It took it took the the aerometer right off of the uh, the chart. <clears throat> but as I was saying, we don't stop and think about the enormity of power that the Earth's magnetic shield generates. We we are so often unconscious look at that folks just absolutely off the scale and that just means that we are really being hit um, with uh, a full assault of high energy particles um, I mean <laughs> this is going to be interesting to see how long this continues so let's go over and take a peek and see what a couple of other charts are telling us. Well, obviously you can see that the Earth is, um, this is, this is, it'd be the equivalency, I would say, in about a Cat 3, Cat 4 hurricane. Um, and everyone is watching to see if this thing's going to go up to a Cat 5. Uh, but there's even more. So, I mean, it's showing that uh, they did hit nine on the uh, Karuna. Um, it's still showing um, a good deal of activity still yet um, taking place. Yeah, you can see... The Earth is still, particularly here in the northern um, hemisphere, is really been taking a beating. We're recovering, but we're still really took a pretty good hit, folks. I don't know. I'm going to wait for the experts to interpret this, but I would not be surprised if we did not see a magnetic pole reversal. I mean, I'm just reading the charts. Um, and again, I'm no expert. So space weather is uh, showing a um, G2. So you can see what's happening up here. Very interesting. So here's GOES-13. Uh, this is the X-ray camera. And when SDO was down, this is where everyone went to as a backup. And although um, probably not as sophisticated as SDO, uh, it's still a re working and a very good uh, observation tool. I want to point out that we all need to be aware of this corona hole. 
Uh, I believe Ben Davidson said he thought it was covering about an eighth of the total um, part of the sun. When you look at it in this spectrum, uh, it looks like it's covering about half. <laughs> and But in any case, and, and if you understand the science behind coronal holes, remember, well, in fact, let me go over and point what I'm talking about. By the way, just real quick, um, here you can really see the KP index. Um, we were hitting uh, six solid, uh, drop down, hitting five. We're still four. Not sure if this is going to be. I'll just say this. Don't be surprised to see in the next five days, particularly, um, this could get very interesting, and here's why. So if we go over here, um, we can actually get a pretty good idea. This is what I'm talking about. This, folks, is... <clears throat> When, you, when we have this type of fusion reaction going on, this is actually a protection. Um, it modifies the core of the sun, and when we get this type of exposure, uh, that's just raw, raw solar energy right from the heart of the sun. It's, uh, and it's not good. It affects us. All, a lot of people are affected by physically by this. And although this picture, um, unfortunately, they don't make them very large. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find maybe a larger one. Yeah, found a better one. So you can see, uh, number one, this is that sunspot group coming in. Um, and if this gets um, active, interactive in the beta, delta, gamma, um, we're going to get some flare activity. And again, this is just raw exposure to the earth. So we, we you need to be aware. So I'll close out <clears throat> with what I uh, opened with. And again, this storm is not over. Um, you can still see the reaction it's having on the magnetosphere right now. And... Uh, I'll keep you apprised.